Okay. Which probably means you can't stand in front of it, right? Or, or, or get out of the way when it's time to get out of the way. Okay. We're starting. Physics of a swing. How does a swing work? As the pendulum rises, its kinetic energy changes to potential energy. As it falls, a potential energy changes back to kinetic energy. The way... The only way it increases the height of the swing is to increase the total energy of the pendulum. Pendulum is a weight, a weight sus Shut up. suspended from a pivot so that it can swing freely. I don't want to say words right. Shut up, man. I just said slow down, not shut oh. up. Damn. Okay, where is the energy coming from to pump up a swing? You normally only change position at the ends of the path when you're at the top of the arc, and momentarily, stationary energy is force times distance. And an impulse at zero velocity transfers no energy. The only place you can expect to find energy would be, gra would be gravity. At the end of the arc, when you change position, you lift yourself slightly, and that increases your potential energy at the moment when your kinetic energy is least. Okay. Okay. Um, now, we're going, going. Okay. Um, Laddie's going to demonstrate how your um, posture is going to be when you swing and how when he is going forward, his head's going to go forward and his legs are going to go back. When he swings back, his head's going to go backwards and his legs are going to go forward. It's also going to show his center of mass, like right in the middle. the bar. You can't. As soon as your arc reaches 180 degrees, the pull of the chain no longer has a vertical com component at the peaks of the arc. The pumping will stop working. There is no way to pull yourself down the chain. The chain of the chain points down. Oh my god, it's cold. The velocity vector <laughs> as you peak the peak of the arc on the back screen is actually pointing forward and your velocity vector once you pass the horizontal in front of it, is pointing backwards. You won't come back down a nice clean arc. You'll come back down in a parabolic fall until you use up the slack in the chain. Our measurement said we had the height of it. The height of it was 6 feet 27 inches above the part of the top between the bottom of the swing. The length of it is 11 feet 8 inches across. So it's Not counting the chin up bar. The swing was well built and strong enough to hold the weight of a person. But if you have a really fat person, like, how are you going to be able to hold the swing? Because they had to put a new one because somebody was running and the chains broke, so they made a new one. Um, simple machines. Um, a swing is a second class lever, and a lever is a type of simple machine that is used to lift weights. The swing chains connect to the fulcrum, which is the top bar. Um, the fulcrum is located at one end while the input effort is at the other end of the bar. It means that the fulcrum and input are opposite to each other, and the output load need lies at a paint between these two forces. The MA, which is, I'm guessing, where's the word? It's in the equation. Yeah, I'll have to show you the picture. 
The MA is more than one in all these cases where this type of lever is used. Let's turn the picture. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah, we kind of demonstrated that, so. Okay. I see it. Question? Question? Yeah. Did you modify, or did you then do the same thing? Did you leave this stuff? Yeah. Oh, wait. Because mm -hmm. you guys didn't have that last night. You was yeah, telling us to yeah. talk about the center mass, and you put that in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. The center mass, which is like it's in his side. midsection. I'm ready to go inside, but I guess if you want to say cold. like I need to yeah. like that. I don't think it's that cold. Anything in that explanation or demonstration that was unclear? Anything that you know should have been in there that wasn't? Wait, what were your measurements again? Like I know, but I was just asking. Um, the height was six foot. 24, 27 inches. The length was 11 feet 8 inches. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Are you absolutely positive that that's 6 foot high? Or 11 feet across? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm like five. Go measure it then. I'm 5'3. I think you know, more than a foot. And I thought Brittany had it, but maybe not. This thing is supposed to be how tall? Six foot twenty seven inches and I happen to be um, five foot eighteen. <laughs> I'm five foot eighteen. This is not six foot twenty seven. That. Standing in the low spot. I'm still five foot eighteen. This is not six foot twenty seven. And this is a class full of juniors and seniors who don't see anything wrong with the number that is six foot twenty seven. Twenty seven inches is two foot three inches. So six foot and twenty seven inches is eight feet and three inches. We can we can chill for one minute and we can finish this. Oh, Hannah, what was the other one? What was the other one? Like eleven foot eight inches. Okay. I thought you said something like Okay, now you gotta lie down. <laughs> yep. It's not quite twelve. I thought she said something really big. I thought she said some really big inches on the But then again, I think I'm pretty sure I measured it. Yeah. Yeah, so Hannah's wrong. It was my fault. I don't know how to read a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> we had that discussion. I'm sorry. Other questions? Oh, you're going to start walking to the door. All right.